Let's talk about the ongoing degradation of NFTs. I've already talked about why they're pretty much as good as dead in past videos, but that degradation continues as more and more companies essentially pull out from NFT support. Now, for those who have not kept track with the history of NFTs, they were at the height of popularity in late 2021 and early 2022 with celebrity endorsements like this one. I will never let Jimmy Fallon live this one down. And then we slowly started to see what a fad they were as celebrity promoters were sued over their promotion of NFTs like Bored Ape. We saw celebrities embarrass themselves by getting scammed in the NFT landscape, getting their NFT stolen forcing them to essentially pay a ransom to get it back. We saw the depreciation of value surrounding NFTs as Bored Ape NFTs like this one that Justin Bieber purchased for millions were suddenly worth just tens of thousands, just became worthless essentially. Here's the first ever tweet from Jack, the former CEO of Twitter, NFT, once upon a time $2.9 million worth, now only getting bids in the range of $132. And as more and more time elapsed, especially throughout 2023, we kept seeing reports that NFT sales are down, that users dropped, and NFTs continue to see new lows with the floor sinking with every passing month. And then optics surrounding NFTs were made worse by the fact that influencers like Logan Paul would exploit them to essentially scam victims through his non-existent NFT game, and he has yet to issue any sort of restitution. He is yet to make the victims whole. And then eventually we saw this report from Dap Gamble, this research that highlighted how essentially 95% of NFTs are estimated to be literally worthless with pieces from the top collections mostly worth 5 to $10, indicating that the fad was up. And even corporations started to see this. Meta, of all companies, in early 2023 gave up on NFTs for Facebook and Instagram. And at one point, they even stopped pitching the technology that their new name Meta was based on, the Metaverse, as reported by Business Insider. Meta has reportedly stopped pitching advertisers on the Metaverse as of April 18th, 2023. Not only is the metaverse as a concept failing to catch on, but its reliance on NFTs means that as NFTs continue to sink and continue to nosedive in interest and value, the metaverse becomes less viable. And it's not just Meta who's pulled the plug on NFTs. Microsoft and Disney have both decided that those are endeavors not worth pursuing, which is why they closed down their metaverse divisions. And these are two major companies who thought this was where the future lied. Which finally brings us to some new developments. More companies have decided that NFTs are plain and simply not worth it. And here's one company who I was not expecting this from. Twitter, now known as X, they have decided to remove support for NFT profile pictures. This is surprising because Elon Musk is one of the biggest cheerleaders for cryptocurrencies, for blockchain, for NFTs. And even he kind of is seemingly seeing the bigger picture surrounding the fact that NFTs are just not viable for the long term. This was an endeavor that Twitter began pursuing back in January of 2022 during a time when NFTs were at the height of their popularity. Fast forward three years later, and now the feature has died alongside the very medium itself. And this was a change that was made quietly. People found out because they noticed that if you go to the Help Center and look up the page that explains what benefits you get if you sign up for the premium subscription subscription. Whereas before, if you search for the term NFT, that would show up. Now, if we look at the updated version of the page, quietly updated sometime in the last few days, it would seem. Now, if you type NFT, you'll find that nothing shows up. I'm pressing enter here as I type in NFT in the search bar but nothing comes up. While people who have NFTs as profile pictures in that hexagonal shape still have them, I wonder if it's a matter of time before that gets removed altogether, or if those people get to keep their stupid hexagons, but that feature won't be supported to new users and new subscribers. Whatever the case, seeing Twitter, one of the earliest champions of NFTs, pull a plug on NFTs, especially when run by someone who is such an avid supporter of blockchain and NFTs, like, what does that tell you? So we have Twitter or X who recently decided to move on from NFTs. Next up, we have none other than GameStop who have decided to close down their NFT marketplace not long after they decided to enter this space. So people noticed recently that if you go to the GameStop NFT website, there's this little notification here that if you click on, it'll tell you about the impending shutdown of the NFT marketplace. It reads right here, important update, GameStop has decided to wind down their NFT marketplace due to the continuing regulatory uncertainty of the crypto space. Sure, regulatory uncertainty. If a 
venture is extremely profitable, companies won't just give up this easily out of fear of regulatory uncertainty. They'll just keep pushing through and squeeze as much out of a venture as possible so long as it remains profitable. The truth of the matter likely is that not enough people are engaging with the NFT marketplace for it to be worthwhile for GameStop to continue maintaining this and continue pouring money into this and continue potentially risking regulatory elements. Which is why effective as of February 2nd, 2024, customers will no longer be able to buy, sell, or create NFTs. Your NFTs are on the blockchain and will remain accessible and saleable through other platforms. Basically, two weeks from now, as of the recording of this video, GameStop's whole NFT endeavor will come crumbling down and this NFT division will essentially be shut down. This comes in a few months after GameStop killed their NFT wallet feature, also blaming regulatory uncertainty at the time. This is an article from August 1st, 2023. So that was already a sign that NFT endeavors were not going well for GameStop. Five months later, they have decided to give up on it entirely. The endeavor as a whole basically lasted roughly a year and a half. They announced GameStop NFTs back in May 19th, 2022, when they tweeted, meet the new kid on the blockchain, GameStop NFT just extremely cringe. And then they launched GameStop NFT alongside its website on July 12, 2022, when they tweeted, GameStop NFT has launched for gamers, creators, collectors, and community members to buy, sell, trade, and create NFTs. And keep in mind that at this point, GameStop was already late to the party. Around the time that they announced GameStop NFTs, the NFT market was already collapsing. And then to add insult to injury, when GameStop NFTs launched on July of 2022, shortly before then, GameStop laid off a bunch of people from the company. Around 160 people's livelihoods were upended shortly before they decided to essentially promote and celebrate and launch this fad, this scam of an ecosystem. One that offered nothing of value and turned digital assets into volatile investment opportunities that was rife with the likelihood of investors losing a lot of money and being exposed to scams and schemes all while harming the environment. It only took a day after GameStop's NFT marketplace launch to see that this whole endeavor was headed towards a cliff. When people looked at the performance of GameStop's NFT marketplace, the first day performance indicated everything Thing. It was reported that on the first day of the GameStop NFT marketplace, it only earned a mere $44,500, which for the average show might sound like a good chunk of change, but for a corporation, that is basically pennies. That is basically chum change. And then looking at the data for the GameStop NFT marketplace's first week performance, you can see right here that they couldn't even maintain the momentum of that slow start. You can see that the curve of the graph started to deteriorate, meaning that an already slow trading volume from launch day was only getting slower with each passing day. GameStop attempted to fuel their NFT marketplace further by adding NFT games into the marketplace as of October of 2022, but ultimately that would prove to be fruitless as a lack of interest in NFTs also means a lack of interest in games that leverage NFTs. And the end result is that this was no longer a viable business venture for GameStop, which brings us to January 14th, 2024 when GameStop has decided to terminate the NFT marketplace altogether. Meta, Microsoft, Disney, Twitter, or X, and now GameStop. How many more corporations have to pull out of NFTs before game companies especially understand that this is just not a worthwhile endeavor so long as NFTs continue to remain useless, valueless, and just money sinks that have little probability of any sort of return except for those who get really lucky or for those who know how to manipulate and scam. While NFTs continue to dive off a cliff, here we have freaking Square Enix in their New Year letter that I talked about in a video where they continue to be adamant about pursuing NFTs by mentioning blockchain entertainment and Web3 as a major part of their future business endeavors. And just last month on December 21st, 2023, they launched their NFT game Symbiote Genesis, and I have heard nothing about this game. I don't even really know how it's doing, but it's not gained a whole lot of traction. And people who have looked at the assets, the character art can tell that there's just a lot of copied and pasted stuff. A lot of the characters, for example, basically use the same model and face, but just with different hairs and clothes layered on top of them. So it makes them look extremely cheap. And these characters are supposed to be the collectible aspect of this NFT game. But what you're collecting is just a bunch of cheaply made art. The art basically looks procedurally generated and with a lack of interest surrounding this game for those looking to pursue Symbiogenesis as a potential profitable venture, 
they're probably not going to find that. Ubisoft has not given up on its Quartz NFT platform. The website is still up. And recently, Ubisoft published an NFT game. And recently, Ubisoft launched an NFT game called Champion Tactics, which came out on December 18th, 2023. And then back in November of 2023, Ubisoft partnered with this company called Immutable, which is a blockchain gaming platform who they're planning to pursue endeavors with. So clearly, game publishers have not given up, insist on being stubborn about pursuing NFTs, this endeavor that offer nothing positive for gaming and is only just a profit-pursuing endeavor, very much a corporate endeavor, one that feels like money wasted, which is especially egregious when over the last few months and over the last year, we have seen some of the worst layoffs the games industry has ever seen. But as more and more major corporations pull out of NFTs, NFTs will become more irrelevant and hopefully they'll eventually fade into obscurity to the point where game publishers will no longer deem NFTs something worth even looking at. Unless the technology is employed in a way that's actually useful, that isn't just turning digital assets into commodities, into investment opportunities and that kind of crap, I don't see NFTs ever gaining traction because gaming is about having fun, not about having to be financially concerned about your digital assets and having to be constantly concerned about their value and just stuff that is just uh, blending real world finances too much with what should be escapism, fun escapism. But that's just one man's take, and this is everything you need to know about the latest surrounding the NFT landscape. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on where NFTs are headed based on the corporations that continue to pursue them versus the corporations that are pulling out, and whether you think this is something that will last or whether you think NFTs will die off unceremoniously, which is what I'm hoping for. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews and discussions stay tuned right here on young yeah i'll see you guys next time young out